Dr. Charles, allow me to introduce you to Dr. Robert Haywood. Doctor? Not medical. Astrophysics, actually. Oh, way beyond me. <laughs> uh, Dr. Haywood is a visiting professor at Northwestern. He was at MIT, and his cardiologist in Boston oh, referred to me. Uh, please, Bob. Uh, Bob asked specifically to see you. Well, I've read your papers. I'm particularly impressed with psychodynamic therapeutic applications in acute medical environments. Oh, dear. A masochist. Yeah, uh, I'm going to leave you two to talk. Here's that, sir. Thank you. Of course. Thank you, Doc. Yep. So chronic cardiomyopathy from chronic ischemia. Class three heart failure. Well, oh, I'm sorry. My energy's low. When I lecture, if I stand too long, my legs swell. I can't get an erection. Not that anyone's clamoring for one. And I'm on, on 11 different meds, as you can see. And I expect in the next six months, I'll be in the ICU with an inotropic drip, waiting for a transplant. Yeah, well, unfortunately, that is a possibility. Yeah, so it isn't unreasonable I get a little anxious? I'd be surprised if you weren't. No. Last thing I want to do is add to your drug regimen, but you know, we should have that conversation. In the meantime, I'm happy to prescribe you a mild sedative, tidy over. Thank you. Yeah. By the way, I think you might know my daughter. She's a psych resident here, Sarah Reese. You're Sarah's father? Yeah. Has she mentioned me to you? Well, only in passing, but... Um... We've been estranged for many years. I didn't write or call. That was a mistake. I should have at least written. But I didn't want to interfere with Sarah's relationship with her mother. It was an extremely bitter divorce. But I see my coming to Chicago as serendipity, a chance to reconnect with my daughter. Sure. I certainly understand that. Since you've seen me professionally, I assume everything I've told you is confidential. I prefer Sarah didn't know about my condition, my need to see a psychiatrist. Of course. You have nothing to worry about. I will zap this prescription into the hospital pharmacy, and I will get back to you with a referral. In the meantime, it's, it's lovely to meet you. I'm a, I'm a great admirer of your daughter. Thanks. Can't believe it. What's up? I just got this from my father. He's relocated to Chicago. He wants to get together. Wow. Nerve. I mean, I've gotten like two birthday cards in 20 years. He totally disappeared from my life, and now he thinks he could just leave me a note and I'll come running to see him. Well, I can certainly understand why that would make you angry. Right. What would you do? Well, that's not, that's not for me to say, but. But what? Well, I mean, I think when a family member, you know, Somebody important in your life is wants to seek resolution. That's, that's never a bad thing, is it? So you think I should see him? I didn't say that. I just, I think it's a personal decision. Mm, it still sounds like a yes. Mm, I'm not going to. What's up? My dad is trying to get in touch with me. Oh, uh, really? Finally. I mean, that's, that's, that's a good thing, right? No, it isn't. My, uh, I wrote my mom about it, and uh, this is what she said. Stay away from him. He'll only hurt you. Hmm. That's rough. My mom is a mess. She hates my dad. I never should have written her. First microsecond of the Big Bang. The inflationary epic of the universe. When it went from the size of an atom to the size of a marble, lasted 10 undecillionths of a second. That's 10 to the negative 36th. That's just slightly longer than the attention span of the average college student. <laughs> so, we can get a few of the hows of the universe. 
As to the whys, well, that's a question for Siri. <laughs> <laughs> See you all next week. Even know what I look like. You have every right to be angry with me. What do you want? Just another chance. Dr. Charles, I went to see my dad. What made you change your mind? Uh, I don't know. Maybe because my mother told me to stay away from him. Uh. But it's not just about me being rebellious. All these years, I've wondered who he is, why he left. Uh, you always tell me there are two sides to a story. I wanted to hear my dad's. Makes sense. Oh, and just so you know, um, my dad said he did write me. Really? He said that? Yeah. Yeah, my mom must have thrown the letters away. Huh. He's not really the monster she made him out to be. He's a, he's a professor of astrophysics. He's brilliant. His students love him. He's um, taking me to dinner tonight at the faculty club. Maggie, what's the uh, the new extension for the pharmacy again? Four four eight two. This is Dr. Charles. I, I sent in a prescription this morning for a Robert Haywood lorazepam. He picked that up yet? He didn't. Sure. Okay, thank you. Dr. Haywood. Dr. Charles. Taking Sarah out to dinner. So she said. I was there when she got your note. I played dumb. Thank you. She told me about, about your ex-wife. It's kind of disturbing that she destroyed all your letters. Uh, yeah, it was a uh, nasty divorce. I know all about those. Listen, your prescription is waiting for you in the pharmacy. Great. great. Anytime you're ready. Thank you. You know, frankly, just talking to you this morning made me feel a whole lot better. Well, good. Just so I know, did you decide to share your condition with Sarah? Mm, not yet. I don't want to make her think I might need something from her. Well, like what? Uh, well, <laughs> no, honestly, I don't have many friends. No other family. My ex-wives refuse to even talk to me. You might say I burnt all my bridges. Right. When your health starts to deteriorate, who are you going to turn to? Take care of you. Well, it's natural, isn't it? Daughter taking care of her father. Plus, I admit, I'm not very good with money, so I could use Sarah's help in that department. Uh, everything I tell you is confidential. Of course. Of course. Good. Aha! Uh -huh. Here she is. You met my dad. Yes, I did. Ready? Yes. Good night, Dr. Charles. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too.